Hey everybody, you've got an interesting short critical response essay coming up uh, that's due on Sunday night. So I'd like to just do a little reminder uh, video to go over this assignment. And if you've already done the assignment, that's fine. You can compare what you've got to this video. Uh, I will start grading on Monday. Okay, it says this, in 2020, writer and journalist Dorian Linsky wrote an extensive analysis of Yeats' se second coming poem in the Guardian newspaper. And let's actually take a look at that. I'm going to open that in a new tab. So when you click to it, you'll see that we've saved it as a PDF just to make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, the, the full title of this essay is actually Things Fall Apart, The Apocalyptic Appeal of W.B. Yeats' The Second Coming. Okay. He discusses at length the influence of a, it's obviously a really short 164 word poem has had on culture. So the exploration includes, you know, political and social movements, um, how Hollywood and other, you know, uh, popular media and music even influenced the poem. So you are to be writing a two to three page essay formatted in Emily's style. I think it goes without saying at this point that you're required to do Emily style. Your essay should be organized and insightful response with in-depth specifics from the poem and from the Linsky article. In this case, you do not have to do outside research from the library. So that should be hopefully a little bit of a reprieve for some of you. Um, but no, you will be quoting the, the poem itself when we go into the poem. Well, let's see here. Hang on one second. I think you have to go back to the main module right here, module three overview, and then you'll find the poem right there. So when we go into the module, let's see. Here it is right here. So as you open it, there aren't going to be like a particular um, page number, but um, remember the, the prior requirements I had for um, how do you cite specific content um, in, you can even say in your paper, in the, um, the, the version of the second coming by W.B. Yeats that is in canvas, things fall apart, the center cannot hold, like you would put quotes around that. Obviously that's line three. If you want to say line three, if you want to say like line seven, I would be for perfectly comfortable with that. You'll notice as well that there is a duplicate uh, link, not just in the short critical response essay here, but the full article is repeated down here as, as additional learning materials, right? So you have to read the poem. You have to get pretty comfortable with the poem. And the idea is that you will summarize the article by Linsky, then you will um, uh, read and summarize two major claims that are made by Linsky, deciding whether you believe the poem is relevant today or not. Your argument will be determining relevance or not. Your position, remember your work in English 112, thesis, because of a particular set of reasons, the reasons will be from Linsky's article and the world, right? You write your essay's thesis statement, <laughs> which is just what that says there. Um, you can answer these questions to help you draw out that two to three page discussion. Um, provide three examples from today's world, mainstream media, writers, poets, political parties, the environment, wherever you need to go to make your case and you submit your final essay as a file upload. Please remember, you should be using no um, Grammarly on this. You should be using no um, chat GPT or any artificial intelligence um, software or language translators or anything like that. This is your own ideas in your own words. And again, I'd rather see a grammar error that maybe uh, Microsoft Word did not catch uh, so I can see more of your actual ideas. Okay, so the criteria for success. Avoid plot summary. You don't need to say in, in the poem, it starts by saying this and then it says this and then it says that. You can do a sentence or two of summary, but you don't want to go like line by line. Um, solid essay structure, introduction, body paragraphs, conclusion, where most of the contents in the body paragraphs. You want to be convincing. You need specific details from the text, from both the Linsky text and obviously from the Yates poem, and make sure to edit and proofread. So just uh, if I were you as a student, I would make sure that I use this assignment rubric as a checklist. Go through accuracy and depth. Whatever is in quote marks was actually what Linsky said or what was said in the Yeats poem. The clarity and the thoughtful organization both inside paragraphs, where you have a topic, sentence, date, and discussion, and from paragraph to paragraph. How insightful and creative you are. You're not writing poetry yourself, but I'm really curious to see what you can do and how you can interpret this small poem. Use of resources, that's Yeats and Linsky. 
and documenting it in MLA style. Both of those sources need an MLA works cited entry. And then of course, your sentence level, language, and mechanics. So that's the assignment. And if you uh, uh, have questions at this point, since it's the weekend, and I didn't get any questions via email for the assignment this week, I would reach out to tutor.com and see if I could get some additional support in that area. And by the way, tutor.com is right here. You could click on the 24 seven tutoring and you could search for English and in here, like I'm in my professor's account, but in your student account, you search for uh, a particular 200 level English class and then you could find tutors. Good luck everyone.